So in my previous video, I showed you guys some of the cool features and improvements available with iOS 11 on the iPhone. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the features and improvements that are exclusive to the iPad. Now, this is one of the biggest changes available to the iPad since the launch of the iPad. So this fundamentally changes the way you use it. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some of these cool features. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe below. So your lock screen looks pretty much the same. The big difference here is that when you swipe up, you see your older notifications. Now, before there was a swiping option for interacting with your notifications, but now you just hold down each notification and you can actually see, just like 3D Touch on your iPhone. To unlock the iPad, it's the same press to unlock. Okay, so the big thing that you'll see that's different here is that you now have a dock on the bottom. Now the dock is kind of like the dock on your Mac. You can put as many apps in there as you want. I believe it's 15 apps you can put in there. And the left side of the dock is your saved apps that you physically put in there. And the apps on the right are the ones that you frequently use or just recently opened that are not on the left side. Um, what's cool about this is you can bring this up on any app that you're in. You can also use proactive features. So if I were in messages on my Mac, I can see that it popped up on the right side of this dock and I can continue from there. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the cool features about iOS 11 that makes it so big on the iPad is that you can do all new multitasking features. So let's open up the news app. Swiping up from the bottom brings up the dock again. Now, if I wanna drag an app to the right side of the screen or the left side of the screen, all I have to do is drag up on it and there, it'll open. This is a free moving window and I can move it wherever I want. I can't resize it though, but I can only move it from left to right. If I want to pin it to my actual screen, I just pull down on it, then I can open up slide over. Let's say I want to open up one more app. So I can open up music, drag it to the side, and now I actually have three apps open all at once. Let's say I'd rather have, so let's say I'd rather have Safari open on the side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into the middle over here. And now I have Safari floating over here. So what's cool about this is I can open up Rotten Tomatoes. And let's see, let's open up a web page in here. So let's take this picture and let's drag it into one of these folders. Now that just dragged it into my desktop. That was really it. Super easy. So drag and drop is a huge feature about iOS 11. It gives you a whole bunch of different options and it's pretty powerful to use, as you can see, and pretty helpful if you're studying and need to drag files into different documents. So that's drag and drop. Let's open up the dock once more. Pulling up the dock again brings up the new and improved control center slash multitasking screen. So you have all of your apps open. You also notice that you have your workspaces open. So here you see Safari and files that we just had open. We have the music app and we can easily switch between them, which makes it a very easy workflow. On the right side, you have control center. So unlike the iPhone, the iPad doesn't have 3D touch yet. So if you just hold down on each of the buttons, you get your 3D touch options. So you're not missing out on anything. So this is a new way to interact with apps. So all you do is hold down an app like you usually would in order to move it, start dragging it and double tap on the apps you want to move. And with that, now I can move this anywhere I want. So that was iOS 11. iOS 11 has so many features and improvements that it essentially changes the way we use an iPad forever. If you have any questions or comments, please go below and comment and I will get back to you right away. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys.